Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lens. And over the last few years, Samsung has included an app or a feature in its new phones called Smart Switch. And what it essentially allows you to do is copy all your data from your old phone to your new one. And that includes iPhones and iPads. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer all your data from your old iPhone onto your Samsung device. And that includes things like your contacts list, your messages, your pictures sometimes your music, even wallpapers and home screen settings, as well as your alarms. So when you first get your Samsung phone, like the S20 here, Smart Switch is part of the initial setup process. But if you want to find it manually, or you've gone through the process and forgotten to do it, you can go to settings and accounts and backup and then choose it manually. You'll see Smart Switch right there in the list. Or even easier, you can just find the app on the phone. It'll probably be in the Samsung folder with all the other Samsung apps. And if it isn't, you can find it on the Play Store and download it from there. Now at this point, if you've accessed the feature manually or launched the app yourself, it'll ask you if you want to receive data or send it. Now, of course, with this being the new device, you want to receive data from an old device. So you tap receive data. Then on the next screen, you just choose iPhone or iPad. Now next you get to choose if you want to do this wirelessly or with a wire. But it's worth noting that the wireless option will require you to sign into your iCloud account. And once you're in and verified, it doesn't give you as many options as if you were to choose the cable option. So we always recommend use the option that requires a cable if you can. So choose the cable option. Next, you need to plug in a Type-C to Lightning cable into your new Samsung phone. And if you don't have a Type-C cable for your iPhone, you can pick up an adapter like this pretty cheap on Amazon that converts Type-C to regular old school USB Type-A. Then you can plug in your iPhone. Now once connected, it'll ask you to trust the Samsung phone on your iPhone. So hit trust on your iPhone and then next on the Samsung, and then it'll scan your iPhone for things that it can copy over. Now this part doesn't actually take too long. And then on the next page, you can choose which data you want to transfer across. If you already use a service like Google Photos to back up your photos and videos, you can deselect that or deselect pretty much anything that you don't think is necessary. Now to get your apps across, tap on the little arrow next to apps and on the next screen, you'll need to sign in with your Google account so it can find your apps on the Google Play Store. Because part of this process is that it can scan the Google Play Store for apps that match the ones you have installed on your iPhone. And if it has them, it'll then install them as part of this process. Once you've selected all the items you want to copy over, hit the big blue transfer arrow at the bottom of the screen. And now you choose which exact apps you would like to install from the Play Store. It'll give you a whole list of them and you can select and deselect the ones that you don't want to be there, as well as how far back in your messages you want to go back to. We chose 12 months, but you can choose longer or less time. And now you wait, because this is the bit that's gonna take all the time. Now, in our particular instance, it took us about 90 minutes to transfer our data. But if you choose videos and photos and you have a lot on your iPhone that you want to transfer across, it could take even longer. Now, once done, the phone had pretty much all of our apps installed with many organized in the same folders. And we even had the same wallpaper set on the home and lock screen. What's more, the messages were there, contacts were there, and even block numbers were carried over. When we went into the clock app, we found that all our existing alarms that we had set on our iPhone had been transferred across as well. So it is really a seamless experience. It transfers everything across that it can. With some apps, of course, you're gonna need to sign into those services manually. It's not just gonna copy over your passwords and your account details to those apps. One of the big misses still is WhatsApp. Of course, you can't actually back up your iPhone chats and have them on your Android device. So that part of it will be like starting again from new. But if all your contacts are copied over as they should, when you log into WhatsApp, you should still find that you can chat to them quite easily. You don't have to manually add anybody back in that way. You just lose all your old conversations. If you like this video or you found it useful, please do hit that thumbs up. It means a lot to us if you do. Use comments if you have any further questions about the process. And if you want to see more videos, there's always the subscribe button just below this video. I've been Cam. I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, and I'll see you again soon.